Hi, I'm David Ames, <coughs> number five for Great Britain. Okay, I'm talking to David Ames, uh, GB and England Hockey. Uh, are you GB Hockey or yeah. GB and England? Yeah, well, GB and England. Hockey. GB and England, okay, perfect. Okay, David, um, I'd like to talk to you about your stick. So you have, you're playing with Osaka. Yeah. So this is obviously a very well-known uh, brand these days, although it's, it perhaps hasn't been around so many years, uh, but it's yeah. certainly um, hit the international stage and a lot of international players uh, are playing with this particular brand of stick. Yeah. Why did you choose it? Why do you like it? Um, I suppose it's something I tested a few years ago. Um, I was involved with a coaching company who uh, wanted to give them a try. Obviously, they were coming into the market fairly new. Yes. Um, the sticks that we got as a sample were very light, um, something which pretty much all my sticks are. I can't play with anything, anything that's really heavy. So Can I just have um, a little play with that? Um, What's, and what is the weight of this stick? 525. Okay. Um, and the length? Like 37. 37, uh, exactly. Okay. 37. Can I? Yeah, okay. Um, okay, so that's so you were involved with the uh, uh, with the coaching company, yeah. and you decided to. Sorry, you can just yeah, just decided to yeah, so obviously give them the test, and um, just felt you know in terms of the balance points that we got given, um, weight of the stick, um, just the ultimate feel and touch whenever you're obviously playing hockey sort of thing, um, just felt really comfortable, and I just got used to them really quickly and decided yeah, I'd love to give them a go, and um, yeah, I've been with them for what, three three or four years now, so and see really enjoying enjoying playing with them, so um, yeah, they've been great. Okay, can I borrow that stick from you again, please, Dave? Um, now, this doesn't have a, it's a, a low bow, but yeah. it's, it's, it's a low to medium, I'd yeah, say. I'll just hold that up to the camera so people there can see what I'm talking about. And we'll just have a look at the particular brand there. Turn that over again, give folks a look at that. So that's. Um, it's not really a low bow, no, I would say. So they've got, a couple, they've, got, um, they've got three which they call a mid bow, which is like an Adidas one, which is really straight. Uh, this one is called a pro bow, which has got uh, obviously 25 millimeter of bend. Um, happens a wee bit higher up than what a low bow would. Yes. Um, sort of thing where obviously that goes down, and obviously for drag flickers and guys who like to aerial to feel more, it's obviously that one. Um, so a pro bow is basically yeah, something which I've always, always played with that I haven't really chopped and changed um, that much. Um, I play in midfield. Uh, don't tend to have that many skills, so I tend to go with a wee bit more of a straighter stick um, as I tend to push the ball, slap the ball, hit the ball in a reverse stick, and it just gives me a wee bit more of a comforting guidance and uh, a bit more of confidence that the ball's going to stay on the floor, sort of thing. Whereas, obviously, with a uh, low bow, um, potentially wouldn't have as I'd be really cautious doing what I do, sort of thing. So, uh, although it works for certain people, and obviously, players and standards are, are very high, so um, I've obviously just got used to playing with one of these types of sticks over the last number of years, so um, yeah. All right, the, the grip you have on here, yeah. um, is that the, the grip that came with? Yeah, so your came on there. Is that the standard grip that or is, is that something else? No, that's, that's what, uh, what it is. So um, I normally would put a chamois grip on it, um, although at the minute the grips that come with the Saka have basically a small green layer underneath, um, so they come quite thick. Um, and so I'm quite keen, obviously, we're in hot human condition sort of thing, and so um, obviously having these types of grips are a wee bit um, tough to manage whenever the heat's in terms yeah, of sweat, humidity, or if, it, yeah, yeah, humidity, and the water, yeah. if it rains, um, obviously your hands can get a bit very wet sort of thing, so that makes it a wee bit more difficult, so um, I normally don't have any tape around here, I just obviously, with being in a hot and humid conditions, you sort of have to because the, you, you, you need to have your grip made, um, obviously tape provides a good stickiness towards yeah, helping that sort of thing, so, and obviously tape down here is um, generally I, get, I think everybody pretty much does that in international hockey, so um, it also helps me with where I keep my hands and um, index finger and stuff like that sort of thing. So, um, okay, so yeah. you're saying that the tape at this end of the stick, at the low end, is, <coughs> isn't just about holding the main grip on, that no. piece of tape there is actually yeah, the guide, so when, you, when your hands run down the stick, you actually feel, you can feel it as well. Yeah, yeah. So it's obviously good, so you know where exactly yeah. your hand position it's a, is. It's a good start for kids and stuff. Uh, it also helps, you know, just with a bit more stickiness to be able to dribble and and do things like that sort of thing, but um, yeah, a lot of people use it as a guide, obviously, with where their hands are, and obviously the bottom of the grip, and things like that, so, okay. so yeah. You talked a second ago about when this stick came, it had a slightly thicker um, thicker grip. <coughs> um, this is really relatively quite thin. I would find that, personally, yeah. uh, too thin for me, but everyone is different, of course. Of course. Uh, have you played with a thicker grip, or you, have you always played uh, with this? I've played with a slightly thicker, thicker grip. Um, I think, yeah, it's just obviously everybody's different and uh, likes their own set of ways. Um, you see a lot of people in international hockey with chamois grips, you see quite a few guys. I think the Aussies tend to play with a wee bit more of a thicker grip. Yeah. Um, 
And so, yeah, it's just personal preference as to what people prefer sort of thing. Um, I normally prefer, yeah, potentially a grip, but then maybe a chamois, um, so two most. Um, yeah, I think it's just obviously. Okay. And about the diameter, are you happy with that diameter? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Have, have you played with a thicker diameter or a thinner diameter? Uh, I've played with a, thin, a thinner one. Um, yeah. I just find it a wee bit just uncomfortable, um, definitely in terms of hitting it, just because my balance point is really high. Yes. Um, when I hold the stick, it just feels a wee bit more flimsy than what I'd be used to, sort of thing. And I think, yeah, that's probably why I've sort of managed to always stay with a relatively yeah. short grip, sort of thing. So. With the thinner grip and uh, knocking up in the colder country when you're obviously in the UK, <coughs> yeah. uh, do you find you get that jarring for a while there just so you get a bit of warmth into the stick? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think at the start you obviously, um, I'm sure a lot of kids and a lot of players, as soon as you hit a new stick you sort of get a ting yeah. feeling from it. Um, that's what we call breaking in, so yeah. um, basically just hitting a ball against a wall or hitting a ball against the goal until it's what they say breaking in sort of thing. So. Um, that doesn't take too long to, to wear about so once you start doing it. I think whenever you live in conditions that we live in, when it's cold pretty much 12 months of the year, um, your hands are more cold, so yeah, that obviously plays a part. It's a lot easier out here whenever you um, bring new sticks and stuff, you don't feel as much of a thing, but yeah, lovely. All right, well, perfect. I'm glad, uh, glad you brought along in Osaka. I've been keen to talk to somebody about the Osaka because I haven't actually had an in-depth discussion with anyone so far. So thank you for that. No and I see you have a, another little bit of tape at the end. Is that just for trapping or are you Yeah, I'll stick stop as well. Um, stick stop that's okay. okay. I have a wee bit of a superstition, so um, I tend to change my grip every game. Um, and that's a bit of something I've done since I'm a youngster. Um, it also helps because I'm a stick stopper as well. Um, right. So it obviously helps to trap the ball. Um, but it's just a wee bit of superstition I have. When you're when you're going there to do your <coughs> stick stop, yeah. uh, just come around there now and just let me have a look at you. Cause I, just uh, use your hands just to push. Just, just as though you're. Uh, yeah, of course. Um, just, so just, just talk us through your stick stop and how you're going to position your hands there, please. Okay, so um, a lot of people are different. Um, I've basically been taught so my hand would go along the uh, bottom of, of the handle, um, so my knuckles will be facing towards where the ball's coming. Um, my right, sorry, my left hand would be halfway between where my hand, right hand is and the head of my stick. So I'd basically be right there. My index finger, as you can probably see, is pointing down towards the head of the stick. Um, and I would be in that position to trap the ball so that my head of the stick, where the ball comes, would be like that. So my trapping stance would be... Okay, I'm going to grab this camera off here. Let's just come down onto the floor now, so, so we can um, see that. As though so you were going to come down there. As I, as I would trap the ball, um, so my hands would be facing towards the ball. Um, and I'd be in that position to trap the ball. So the most important thing probably is that the bottom of your stick, sorry, the top of your stick is on the floor. A lot of kids probably nowadays try to trap the ball like that. And as you can see, if the ball goes to trap, the ball goes underneath. Yeah, so it's very important that as you trap the ball, both parts of the end of the sticks are down. So one the top of the bunt and the head of the stick to be able to trap it. Okay, just um, present the, the head of the stick to the, towards the camera sideways to me. So just in other words, shift spin on your axis because I want to see the angle of the stick presented to the floor. So, really, that's quite an extreme angle forward. That's probably 45 degrees yeah. to, to the ground, yeah. or maybe yeah, something like that. Something like that. So, I think that's uh, probably a good tip for people as well, yeah, because I think definitely. a lot of people are actually too high up, yeah, with the, with, and it's, it's hidden that and it's bouncing away. Yeah, definitely. You see a lot of people doing that, so that's uh, probably a big problem. Perfect. Okay, well, that's fantastic. Good news.